Hey YouTubers, welcome to the Startup Slick YouTube channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to one of the vehicles I own. It's a very unique vehicle and it's the one of a kind because this is the only diesel powered rally fighter. That's a pre-production rally fighter that we inside the company called the Beta Car. It's the first local motors rally fighter ever made. When I joined Local Motors as an engineering intern in November of 2010, I was always obsessed with this car. The company's priority back then focused off this vehicle on the production rally fighters, but to me, this vehicle represented Local Motors. It's why I joined the company, a uh, really fuel efficient 3 liter turbo diesel pulling 30 miles a gallon in an off road car with 33 inch factory tires with 20 inches of suspension travel. It represented everything I loved about Local Motors. And while I worked at Locomotors, everyone knew I was obsessed with this car. I always took care of it, always cleaned it, always kept the motor running, made sure the battery was charged, took it out whenever I could to events. Whenever it broke down, I fixed it, usually on personal time, and I was just obsessed with this car. And there were lots of sales cars that we could drive as employees, and when I became a full-fledged engineer, everyone wanted the sales car, but I really liked the old and busted beta car. Times were good at Locomotors. I loved driving around the Rally Fighter. The company was looking bright. I was happy. But the company changed, and after nearly seven years at Locomotors, it was time for me to resign. And the vehicle got shoved into the CEO's personal storage locker. It soon broke down after I left, and I thought I'd never see the car again. I thought I would end up in some museum or some rich guy's garage, and uh, that would be the end of it. But while I was gone, I was living a new type of lifestyle. I was living in these uh, house trucks that I built. I saved half my income, paid off all my debt, and started having a large amount of like savings. So COVID hit, a lot of businesses uh, went out of business, and Local Motors did a layoff, and I got a little uh, tidbit of information that this car may be for sale. And after a couple months, I kind of got frustrated because Local Motors was selling a lot of assets, but no one was talking about this car in particular. So I actually walked into the building with a gallon, uh, like Ziploc bag, full of $100 bills and said I wanted to buy the car cash. And that really got the conversation going on how I could purchase it. Things got serious. So I was in conversation with the guy in charge of all Local Motors assets, the CEO, and it went up to the board. For approval and went up for silent auction and I ended up purchasing the vehicle. In the end the CEO Jay Rogers of Locomotors said he was very happy that the vehicle ended up in my possession and that it would not end up in some quote unquote rich guy's garage. After that I called a tow truck, I got the vehicle dragged home and started fixing it. Ended up being the fuel pump and the next series of videos are gonna be just the raw footage of me getting the car going after sitting for many many years. Sorry it's a little rough it's a couple years old and was saved in my Instagram stories. There we go the M57 motor we got the bumps, double A arm suspension aftermarket intercooler, BMW radiator Ford F-150 brake booster this is pretty crazy it's idling. I think it's working the air out of the system. First time idling on its own. Definitely not firing on all injectors. But I think she's working the air out. It's like a Cummins. I think I have a dead injector. Here we go, first drive. First drive in seven years, it's moving. Oh, we're in neutral. Oh my god, here it goes. The UPS guy is here to witness this historic event. Cool, I think all the injectors are firing now. There's no more haze.
So that concludes the story of how I ended up purchasing the Rally Fighter from Locomotors. Make sure to follow my channel as I get this vehicle back into its original condition. I'm going to do a few things to it and it's going to be exciting because this thing deserves to be driven.